Glad y'all could make it back. Look what we're here today to try to start. But before we do that, I want to kind of walk you around here. This guy uh, parked this stuff a few years ago, and it's for sale. This is out of my wheelhouse, but you see he's got this 720 ditch switch right here. And I'm assuming that's a plow on the back of it. He wasn't plowing too deep right there, was he? There's some information right there. Manufactured by the Charles Machine Works Incorporated out of Perry, Oklahoma. Don't know anything about these to be put my two cent worth in, but I think that that's look at that neat attachment right there, a little old backhoe. I'm, I guess this thing will come off pretty easy if they had to put a reel on there while they're plowing. I'm sure it's an attachment there because they got to have a reel somewhere to put the cable. I see the starter's missing off of it. I don't know if that went bad or if they had to get one off it to go on the other one before they quit. But look right here. This little nice F-350 power stroke. Thing looks pretty nice. Not beat and banged up. It's, it's for sale, but the man that put me on this is trying to buy it. I don't know if by the time that the video comes out, if they would have worked on a trade or not, but we'll see. I'll keep posted on it. Uh, you can email me. The, the email's in the description below, so just email me, and I'll be glad to steer y'all in the right direction if I can. We've had a, oh, they got a roachy bug in here. Four wheel drive. Seats are not tore. Headliner looks good. I won't get into the year model cause I don't know, but y'all can probably tell by looking at it. Got a nice fuel pump, uh, fuel tank on the back. Got some good boxes on it. It's really straight. It really is. There's a probe right there when they go to checking for some water lines, it looks like. But you can see this is not a bad looking truck at all. Let's pop the hood and, and see. Uh, check the oil in this thing where the hood was popped. I don't know if that comes with it or not, but we'll certainly ask them. Might be a grandson to somebody that don't want to part with it. Well, that thing right there. I say we're gonna check the oil. I don't see if you can get it to move. I got the hood. Well, okay, okay, yeah, but okay. Well, I don't really see. It's rat's nest. Yeah, what is that? that's some. They was getting started. Yeah. Yeah, some wires too, right here. Oh, yeah. Okay. Well, that's not good at all. That right there is worse than, look, there's, here's probably where they come from right here. I don't know, maybe that was just where the uh, fuel pump, as for the fuel pump back there. I don't know what's the matter with it. Looked like they got something off right there. Boy, it'd take, it take a real mechanic fix this thing. Hank, I might be coming to get you. This is something like you can fix. Now there's the alternator. 
Hey, it's Wiley. That was the uh, owner's mother wanting to know what we was doing, but she recognized me. Not from YouTube, but from the other day I was out here. But it looks like they've had some issues right here. I don't know. Look at that right there. They. Hey there, Jacob. Rat's nest. All in here. You know, it, it, since I've been doing this, it's just, uh, and those rats are, are wreak havoc on something like this with all this electronic stuff. I'm going to try to find out the reason it was like this, and and maybe by the time Jacob edits, uh, he might can do it. But hey, just always email me, and I'll try to give you answers best I can. <laughs> Something, something they was trying to fix. I got something off there that don't know. Like, prop looks like maybe the air breather's off. They just started taking it apart. And yeah, I just I, they was trying to probably get to something. Is probably what happened. But also, I don't know if you know this or not. But the uh, appreciate y'all watching the the little Dozier, the 450 Dozier. Someone bought it uh, that I hooked up with uh, Patrick. So it did sell. I keep y'all posted on it when they load it. If, if they're called, I'll, I'll try to get that video out of them loading. And But it did sell. So I just let y'all know that this stuff that we do is for sale. And some of it does, does get gone. This is a boring rig, horizontal boring rig by Vermeer. I don't know how long it's been sitting either. You can tell it's been sitting about as long as the... Uh, other has the seats, you know, just sitting out here in their sun, it's cracking, that's nothing unusual. I don't know anything about this thing, how it operates, or anything about it. Got the, got the guard dogs here watching out for us, wanting, letting us know that we're not supposed to be here. But uh, that's what this thing is, of a mere match gator, D33 by 44. I don't know what that D33 by 44, but probably a 33. Ain't even gonna guess. Looks like it was just rolling about a thousand hours on it. But this is the stuff that he's trying to get uh, rid of. I'll try to get you some information on this, and if we can get, uh, like I said, with the owner, I'll hook y'all up, and he can tell you everything he knows about it. I don't know how it, how it works, but uh, getting back to this, Jacob and I were just sitting here gawking at it some more, but that's the drill part of it right here. And I guess the pipe comes down here, feeds into those, and, and, the, and the operator will just bring it over there to, and just do it manually. I guess he does everything from that seat right there. But that's pretty, pretty neat. Maybe we can get some more information actually get a video of one running or something. To give some of y'all like myself that don't have an idea how it works, a lot of y'all know exactly how it works. Some of y'all might even run one today. And we got one more piece back there. I'm not gonna walk out through the dogs, but there's another piece right there. A Vermeer, I think it's a Vermeer. Let's see if we can get down here and check this. I think this is a Vermeer. Woo wee. I thought I did. Hey, hey, hey. Everything's okay. We're, we're, we're friend, we're friendly. We're, we're friendly. All right, well, this is not a bad looking plow here either. It's a Vermeer, Vermeer. Vermeer. I said Vermeer. But it's got the, uh, that's where they put the reel. Hook the reel right here. Run it over there, run it through that hole and they plow and they bury that casing right there. Is, is what they do. You know, for the fiber and, and things like that. This has got a uh, little Cummins engine in it. Four cylinder Cummins. See a wasp right there. I think it was. We're just doing a walk around today, wasp. But 
huh? Kind of oh yeah. We're just doing a walk around today, you see? I don't see. That's a good looking Cummins, but after <clears throat> took got some stress right here. I don't know how many guys watch the channels interested in anything like this. Uh, no, <laughs> they couldn't have been, they had to be using that to pull back, didn't they? That's what they were probably pulling it back with, tying it to, to have a stringer hooked to it. Yeah, this was Southern Ohio Incorporated, a V8 550. Four cylinder Cummins. Don't know how long it's been sitting, but we'll come back and and try to start this one. Let's go look at that blue Volvo. All right, I think this is the last piece of it. It's a Volvo. Don't know what year it is. It's got a. Vermeer tank, water tank system on it. Got a... All right, well this absolutely goes with the, with what he had. All right, well there comes the, there comes the guy right there. All right, got a Volvo here. Ain't got any batteries, imagine that. Somebody's been messing with it. But this is a Ver Vermeer water tank system on it. There's the, there's the engine that runs the pumps. We'll come back and try to start that when we start the truck. Uh, there's where you put uh, stuff in there to mix it with, I'm thinking. I'll try to find out something about it when I, when we do start it but that is one heavy duty bed on this thing we'll go over that some more when i get out here on the truck but i just want to show y'all what the man had for sale and actually the man just pulled up i used to work with him at another shop a couple of years ago and when i seen him i said well heck i didn't know this is where i was so it's a small world but he told the story about this i won't share with you i won't share it with you but he told the story about it told why it was left up like it it is, and uh, let's see what kind of engine this thing's got. Oh, me. Let me show them where it is. Right there. Where, pick up yet, right there. Yep. Oh, it does have a pop. Yeah. I thought it was just latched. Okay. Got a Detroit in it. Well, I tell you what, we're going to come out here and try to get this started and see how it runs. Again, it's all for sale. Uh, the guy that's put me on it, I think he's especially interested in this. He's not interested in a truck, uh, cab and chassis himself. Just. Just this part he said he definitely wanted. Because this is a business that he's in or he's trying to get in. He's been working with his brother for 30 years doing it. And now he's going to start doing it by himself, which I'm glad for him. All right. Let's get back to seeing if we can get some of this started. Okay. Let's get back over here on the one we're going to try to start. All right, this is a, of course it's got the blade on it. Got a John Deere power unit in it. Four cylinder John Deere power unit. I really don't know about that little inline filter there, but I guess it works. There's the main filter, but. All right, there's a the fuel tank. This has got a digger or trencher. This is a trencher on the back of this one. 
This was manufactured by the Charles Machine Works Incorporated out of Perry, Oklahoma. So the Charles Machine Works must make dick, ditch witches. Let's get up there and see what this is about. Well, we're going to have to get a key from them. You can tell it's been sitting out here in the weather for a long time. Meal dude. Maybe that ain't froze up. No, that feels okay. That's a little bit stiff. That's the worst thing that happens to them. Is they sit around and they just get stiff. Let's see. Can't tell the hours, but I see the seven shining. 7,000. 175? No, that's a half hour. That's 13. Yeah, that, that's not a one or anything. I would say that's got a... Well, that's, that's, I'm guessing that's the throttle. Accelerator, I'm assuming. I'm sure this is hydrostatic. This is going to be the blade up and down and Some, well, there ain't no information book in here. All right. I'll go back over and knock on that lady's door about the keys. She had them the other day. All right, let's get this thing. Let's check the oil in this thing. Three points of contact. When you're 63, three points of contact. Oh, Lord. This thing ain't making much oil, but it made a little. Of course, it's tilted to tad. That's what it is, just not level. That's good enough in my book. We can start it. Let's check the water. All right, well, there's something right here. See any water up there? Y'all see any? Get y'all some light where y'all might could see better. I don't see any. You know, if I'd this, if I'd been a snake, it would have bit me. But Good gracious, alive! Y'all see any? Oh yeah, that thing's full. You can see it. Oh yeah, it's well, slam full. All right, well we're good on water. We're good on oil. Let's check the fuel. <laughs> it ain't much, but it's got enough. Okay. I'm assuming they was probably plowing a drop. And this is what they had left. That happens. It happens to the best of them. All right, I need to walk over here and ask the lady about the key again. I'll be right back. All right, now she's going to try to find the key. So once she's doing that, I'll be getting this battery situated. Yes, and that's a hot one. We'll soon find out. This thing right here should crank right up with this one. And that would have been super nice, but of course it won't. Let's make sure about this before we do it. You want me to bring you the bag back when I threw? Yeah, that'd be fine. Okay, because that's got the, it's on that big old key ring that's got, this is, I can bring you, I bring you the key back when we get done with that one. 
she seen y'all drive it back and yes, forth across the yard. And she said, it was strange. They just drove back and forth and said, that's what threw her. Threw her. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> I'm sorry for that. Oh, no, no. <laughs> She said that was a sign. She just didn't know. She just, yeah. Yes, ma'am. You, you so many thieves nowadays. Yes, ma'am. You don't know what nobody No, ma'am, you don't. You, no, ma'am. It's like I told somebody the other day, I said, you can't trust nobody. No, no it's hard to. Yeah. It really is. Was it a John Deere key? No, sir. Well, well all right. Can you look over there and see which one of these I'm pulling? <laughs> okay, it was move. Okay, that's the hot right here then. That's the hot. I'm glad we did find that out. All right. That's all right. Let's see. Might make this work after all. That we're gonna have to have a wire for to get to the hot. What about this? Yeah, I'm gonna, we're gonna have to hook that up because I know that's probably. But let's turn the key. Let me turn the key and see if we get to anything. Anything moving up there? Uh, yes, sir. D gauges? Yes, sir. Okay. We're gonna have to get uh, try to hook up something for the for this. Ooh. That's ground. That is the ground. Okay. So we're gonna have to hook up something like. Yes. It wouldn't be a will it start if we didn't have some fire. See if I can crank it. Yeah, just see if it uh I just switch it on and off. Let me see if this fuel pump is kicking on. Okay. You want me to turn the key on? That's the horn. Oh, was that, it? I think that was the horn. It could have been. I could have looked at it. I think it was. It had a key ignition in it like it. Something in. Wow. Wow. <laughs> oh boy. I tell you, I just, I don't, you, you just don't make this stuff up. Y'all seen it. Dang, lost the prime. I don't know why they ain't doing it by the key. Maybe. I wonder if, all right, let me hook, let me get this ground hooked up and see if that'll do it. I don't know about the rest of it, but the engine runs good. Let's see if that did anything. No, we probably don't have something just right. 
I would have been ready with the accelerator if I knew it was going to bust off like that. I just think we had fire. And now we don't. We are running out of fuel. All right, we got some ether. Yes, we can run off ether just a little bit for it to build back up. That'd help if I did the right one, huh? Yeah, it's not gonna take much. It's just gonna take just a little bit. Just hang on, see what happens. A little bit. Yep, 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 yep. Actually, I'll pull the first, Jacob. <laughs> you got to watch out what you do. I would have never thought that. It's the blow by the old. You can, you can see it. You can see it right there. That shocks me. Huh? Uh, no, let's see what happens. Is it busted? Yes, sir. Okay. Alright, let me try and reverse. There it is, it's on the same pedal. Okay. <laughs> well. It works. My goodness, I would have. I, I'm surprised at the blow by. As easy as it started. We probably don't have something in, in gear or something. Some safety switch or a neutral or something. Well, all this is for sale. I'll try to find some more information if you'll just email me. Jacob have that uh, email in the description too. All this stuff is for sale. We're going to try to start a lot of this stuff. This was just the first one that we tried. Thank y'all for watching. And remember, don't be wily.